In today's video, I'm going to teach you the most common Italian adjective that you must know. And these are not some random Italian adjectives. They are exactly the ones that Italian native speakers use the most. If you're learning Italian, you need to master these Italian adjectives to improve your conversation and understanding. And teaching you real Italian is always my personal goal and the exact result I've been helping my students achieve. I'm Valentina Stella, native Italian tutor, top-rated tutor on the language learning platform italki, where I've taught more than 4,000 Italian classes so far. And if you want to learn the top 50 most common Italian adjectives and immediately start using them, then you will love this video. So keep watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now for more. Okay, let's start with the first of the top 50 Italian adjectives that you need to know. And if you want, you can repeat after me so you can practice these immediately. The first adjective is all, tutto, tutto. If you want to say much, you have two ways of saying that in Italian. The first one is molto, molto. And the second one to say much is tanto, tanto. And remember that molto and tanto are the same in meaning, so you can use them interchangeably. If you want to say many, again, you have two different ways of saying that in Italian because we have two ways of saying much. Therefore, we have two ways of saying many and they are also interchangeable. Pick the one that you prefer. So first way of saying many is molti. Molti. Second way of saying many is tanti. Tanti. Too much is troppo, troppo. Other is altro, altro. If you want to say every or each, the good news is that in Italian that's just one word. So one word will work for both of them. And that word is ogni, ogni. So remember, ogni in Italian means both every and each. Big is grande, grande. And small, piccolo, piccolo. Okay, these were the first 10 most common Italian adjectives that you need to know. So let's learn some more together. If you want to say good, here you have two ways of saying that but they are not the same, so let's learn them. The first way of saying good is buono, buono. And buono can be a little bit tricky because you may have, may have noticed that we also have buon as a form. So many students get confused because buono doesn't follow the usual rules of making the endings like other Italian adjectives. That's because buono is an irregular adjective, so keep that in mind. If you want to say good, but you're referring to a person or an animal, then you, can, you need to use bravo, bravo. So remember, we have two ways of saying good. The first one is buono and the second one is bravo. Remember to use bravo whenever you're saying good of a person or maybe of an animal, like your dog. Va bene? Bad is Cattivo, cattivo. Beautiful is bello, bello. And here again, we have several versions of bello. You may have heard bell, um, belli. So bello is like buono. It's an irregular adjective. It makes the different forms in a different way than most Italian adjectives. So let me know if you want a video about how to use buono, bello, bravo in Italian. If you want to know how to change the endings and also how to use them correctly, because even the meaning can be a little bit tricky, a little bit different than what you would expect in English. If you would like to see a video on this topic, just let me know. Leave me a comment down below right now.
Ugly is brutto. Brutto. Better, migliore. Migliore. Worse, peggiore. Peggiore. First, primo. Primo. Last, ultimo. Ultimo. Fantastic, fantastico. Fantastico. Terrible, terribile. Terribile. Difficult, difficile. Difficile. Easy, facile. Facile. Fantastico! You just made it to the half of this list. Now you know the top 25 most common Italian adjectives. Now let's learn the rest together. Clause is vicino. Vicino. Distant. Lontano. Lontano. Old. Vecchio. Vecchio. If you want to say old for people though, don't use vecchio because that would sound very rude. If you want to say old for people, then use anziano. Anziano. So remember, don't say vecchio to an old person, just use anziano. New is nuovo. Nuovo. Young, giovane, giovane. This, questo, questo. That, quello, quello. Okay, quello is like bello. Can you hear there's a similarity in the ending? And like bello, quello is also, is, it's also regular. So let me know if you want a video on quello and maybe how to use quello and questo correctly in Italian and all the possible different endings of quello and how to use them correctly. If you want a video on this, leave me a comment down below right now. Let's continue with more Italian adjectives. Unique is unico. Unico. Special. Speciale. Speciale. Common, comune, comune. Perfect, perfetto, perfetto. And you can tell this is one of the most common Italian adjectives because I always use this. Perfetto. Imperfect, imperfetto, imperfetto. Next, prossimo. Prossimo. If you want to say last, but you're talking about last in time, then use scorso. Scorso. So remember, we already learned uh, another way of saying last, which was ultimo. Ultimo means last in, um, for example, in a race or in a, any kind of competition. But scorso means last in time, like last winter. Wrong is sbagliato, sbagliato. And right is giusto, giusto. Long is lungo, lungo. And short, corto, corto. Expensive, costoso, costoso. Cheap, economico, economico. Easy, semplice, semplice. Complicated, complicato, complicato. Full, pieno, pieno. Empty, vuoto. Vuoto. Closed. Chiuso. 
chiuso, open, aperto, aperto. Ok, there you have it, the top 50 most common Italian adjectives that native Italian speakers use every day and that you need to know to improve your listening and conversation. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now for more. Just click on the subscribe button below this video. And now it's your turn. What else would you like to learn about Italian adjectives? Maybe Italian adjectives grammar rules? or more advanced Italian adjective lists, or maybe some specific Italian adjectives with some example sentences. Let me know, let me know all your requests by leaving a comment below right now. Ciao da Valentina.